Legislators spent much of the day settling differences, either concurring to bill amendments or agreeing to conference committees to settle disagreements. Deal-making, compromises, and animated private conversations dominate the last day of the Maryland General Assembly session. Lawmakers often holding their ground on bills amended by the other chamber. The Senate refuses to concur in the House amendments and respectfully requests the House recede from its position. Governor Hogan's bill, stiffening criminal penalties and mandating longer jail terms, will not be acted on. Democrats argue the proposal reflects failed tough-on-crime policies and does nothing to address the underlying causes of crime. Public safety is so important, and we're hearing from citizens across the state, and especially in the Baltimore region, that they're concerned about crime. The governor's bid to make sentences handed down by judges more transparent is stuck in a House committee. The Senate passed a compromise measure to publish sentences for judges and jurisdictions, rather than naming each judge. Legislation making local state's attorney prosecution decisions public has also hit a snag. It's changed tremendously. I mean, when I first put it in, it was about getting information about how prosecutions take place. Uh, that's been substituted. It'll be a task force. Lawmakers are still working on enhancing the state's cybersecurity defenses. The House is still working on a Senate bill that centralizes IT operations, provides oversight and resources, and coordinates an emergency response. Legislation addressing unfair charges on easy pass bills is a step closer to the governor's desk. The most important piece, David, is that those folks that paid, so they paid, they didn't agree with MDTA, and they paid the extra $25 penalty, that they're eligible for a refund. MDTA has to send out notification to those folks to make sure that they can call back in and get that credit back to their account. A bill to notify city police when someone is released from jail is headed to the governor's desk. That same bill also establishes a jobs court pilot program. Governor Hogan is holding a press conference at this hour, and we'll bring you more of what he had to say coming up new at 6. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News. All right, David, thank you. Immigration and immigration advocates are celebrating the passage of the Healthy Babies Equity Act today after Governor Hogan allowed it to become law without a signature. The act expands Medicaid to undocumented pregnant mothers, providing prenatal and postpartum care regardless of their immigration status. Advocates say this bill could mean the difference between life and death for expectant mothers. Thousands of women are forced to see a doctor for the very first time on the day of their delivery. It's unacceptable. You need a doctor with you every step of the way. It can be the difference between life and death for families. And we're very excited because the governor has not signed it, uh, but has allowed it to go into law. The law will go into effect on July 1st.